cool to see like what it is like to be in like a roller derby and and that sort of thing so definitely love that one um and then um the last one i'm going to talk to you about is one of my favorite covers look how beautiful that is it's just so pretty um it's called furthermore um and it's by tahara mafi and she is a well-known fantasy writer for a little bit older of books for like high school um but this is her like first um first book for people who are a little bit younger. Um, this is more like not quite high school yet. Um, and she, uh, she wrote this book and it's about this land, um, where color and magic are like currency. Like it's how you pay for things. It's how you get stature. Um, and it's about this girl, like the main character, Alice, she has no color and she has no magic. So it's kind of about how she exists in that world and what it means for her not to have magic. Um, and then her father disappears and she has to go find him in this magical world called Furthermore, which is like kind of basically like her world turned up on its head. Um, it's kind of like Alice in Wonderland. If you guys have ever seen that movie, it's a lot like she fell through the looking glass and everything kind of went haywire. Um, it's really good. It's, it's an adventure, um, but it's just a really beautiful and vibrant, like colorful world that she's built. And it's, it's, it's one of my favorite books of this year. So this is my favorite out of the group that, that I'm talking about today. Um, and then, so yeah, that's kind of like the books I set aside. Are you guys like reading anything or looking for anything in particular? Like, do you have any favorite books? Yes. Um, uh, yeah. Uh, yes. Um, Harry Potter. Uh, I'll have uh, Harry Potter uh, to read Harry, Harry Potter. Oh, Harry Potter. Then yeah, I would say out of out of these books, this is the best one for Harry Potter fans. Furthermore, it's really good. It's really good. So yeah, I mean that's that's all I kind of have to to talk about today. If you guys don't have any other questions, uh, yes, we yes, have. yes, we have. Okay. Uh, how do you choose uh, authors uh, who will be published? Well, um, basically, uh, there's this process where authors get agents, and um, an agent comes to the publishing house with a book and asks an editor to read it or asks um, someone who runs a publishing imprint to read it. And, and then um, based on whether that editor believes it will sell, based on the quality um, and that sort of thing, they decide whether or not to buy it. That's how it works here. It doesn't work that way everywhere. That's just how it works at Penguin. Okay. Okay. Uh, how, uh, how do you decide the level of a book? Um, I think that that is, it, it, there's a couple ways you do that. So first of all, it has to do with um, how complex the text is. So how easy or hard it is to read. Um, and then I would say probably the second thing that, that is like a big deciding factor in what level the book is, is, is the content. So does it have a lot of violence? Is there any um, inappropriate content for certain age groups? Is there any bigger themes that younger people might not be able to, you know, wrap their brains around yet or might not be mature enough to, to read yet? Those are the kind of like the factors that go into that. What? Who illustrate the book? How do I what the book? Mm. Who illustrates the book? I'm sorry, I just can't hear. Uh, who illustrates the books? Mm -hmm. Who takes the books? Who illustrates the book? Who illustrates it? Yes. yes. Okay. Um, so that can happen in a couple of ways too. So either illustrators um, are asked to um, are asked to illustrate. So if you're an illustrator, someone might discover your art, like an editor might discover your art and and pair you with a writer. And so then that's one way. Um, another way is that uh, if you're an illustrator, you can submit your work to an agent in the same way that you could submit your book to an agent. And then that agent can go to a publishing house and be like, here's really great art. If you have a book that you feel might work with it or a person you could work on a project of it with, um, you can do it that way as well. Okay. Um, who add 
edit the book and uh, how uh, does he or she do it? So um, basically the way a book gets edited is there is there's the editor itself is the person who buys the book and is the person who like brings the story and the content um, to the right place. So they'll help kind of if if there's a story that needs to be changed a little bit or something needs to be shortened or something needs to be like a longer, that editor deals with that. Um, and then there's a copy editor who edits more for spelling and grammar and punctuation. Um, and then kind of after that, um, there's like a managing editor who just goes through and makes sure that it fits into a book because certain books are set sizes and that sort of thing. So it kind of goes through like three phases of editing, I would say. Yeah. Uh, how long does it uh, take uh, to publish a book? Um, I would say probably from like when you buy it to when it's in the store, like anywhere from... A really fast one would be like a year, but normally it's probably like two or three years it takes, probably. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Is that it? Yeah. Yes. yes. Okay, cool. Awesome. Thanks, guys, for chatting. Hi. Bye. 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 Bye.